that big Adrian flag on Sam Shahin and Scott Taylor's in there as well. Lots of damage. That's the left rear wheel missing off Sam Shahin's car. Oh. Flax car with a lot of rear damage. So this will bring out the safety car has been deployed. So we're under safety car conditions. You can see a wheel in the background. Something's just burning away. A little bit of flame. Quick replay now. What happened here? So exit of turn three. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's a big shame for Sam Shahin. So Flax just lost the rear out of turn three. Flax spun the car, rolling backwards. Sam Shahin, oh, that's an unfortunate accident for Sam. He was just trying to thread the needle through a gap that was closing. How was the impact into the fence, Matt? How was it? That's really hard to watch. That is really hard to watch. This is Scott Taylor. So I thought initially he was involved in this, but actually a really good job of avoiding the debris field down there and that's great to see Sam out of the race car and he'll be feeling that Sam spent quite a bit of time recovering from a broken back he suffered in a crash at the Bathurst 12 hour a couple of years ago um, he's fine 100% fine but just be wary of that and there is absolutely nothing that the South Australian can do remember he is leading the Morris Finance Pro-Am Championship and it means the world to him to try and win a championship in Carrera Cup racing. It's such a tricky position Sam was put in when there's a spun car and you don't know where it's going to end up and it's good to see Sam's okay. I think he's just running down here to make sure that Flack's okay. He's moving around in the car. So he might just be uh, trying to unbuckle himself and get himself out of the car. Really good sportsmanship there from Sam Shahin to wander down and make sure he's okay. Well, and there was nothing Sam could do about that. It was just... a. a diminishing gap that he tried to fire his way through. Uh, that exit curve on the exit of turn three, it's caused some drama, hasn't it, in Crow Cup racing. Harry Jones, it cost him a shot at qualifying anything other than last. When he bounced off that early in the qualifying session and it broke the right rear axle in his Helimod's Porsche. But the ferocity of the impact and the way that the Ben car whacked that fence as it made contact with Adrian Flack in the Agas National Racing Entry. Here it is again. So this is the exit of turn three, Jack. Just watch it, just oversteered as he hit that exit curb and it's just picked the car up. It spun him around, he's nosed it into the fence and just took his foot off the brake and started rolling back. And Sam Shaheen had a split second to pick a side, right or left, and he's gone right. And that gap's just closed and he's uh, been squeezed into the fence. Massive impact there. You see the rear wing hanging off the car, the left rear wheel part away, a quick oil type fire from the back of the car, uh, which extinguished itself quite quickly. And you're right on board Scott Taylor here. Look at this. Elevation has got as well. And Adrian didn't get off the brake. The car did roll back, but such was the impact on driver's left that that car was coming back into the path of everyone else anyway. And have a look at the anguish for Sam. Just doesn't know what to do with that. And, and there was nothing he could do. 